planet's on fucking fire. Welcome back to Backyard Politics. This is an impromptu video. I'm Nikki. I'm Maddie. And uh, Derek Chauvin has been found guilty on all three counts. So, shocking, honestly. I thought he was going to be um, acquitted or, you know. Yeah, I obviously I, I hope for the result that we got. But this is why I don't handle <laughs> I would have put money that he would have gotten completely off. Yeah. And we would have had another, like, L.A. riot situation. I mean, totally deserved, totally, like, you know, would, would have made Justified. sense. Justified. Justified, sorry. I'm just so tired. No, you're fine. We played volleyball for a while earlier, and I don't get exercise, so now I'm so tired. <laughs> well, um... I think, and I'm pretty sure that you think as well, that that was what a lot of people thought was going to happen. And I feel like while this is a huge win, and I don't want that to be overlooked because it is a very big win, not just for George Floyd's family and his name and et cetera, but for the black and brown communities. For all communities, it, it's a win. It is. However, I feel like this was not real, almost. Like, the trial was only, what, two weeks? It was quick. And then the verdict came back like that. And, yeah, a lot. I get that a lot of times that happens and that, you know, especially with guilty verdicts. But I feel like this is a win to make everybody shut up. Just like how you were saying, you want to... Yeah, so we, you got to celebrate a win. Right. Okay, regardless, you got to celebrate a win. But my fear with this is that just like when, when Biden won, all the so-called leftists, all the people that were, you know... Blue MAGA. Bl blue MAGA, thank you, blue MAGA. All those folks went to sleep. And we called it before it happened, a long time before it happened. And I'm not saying we're even that smart. <laughs> we just saw it coming where, yeah, the big, bad, racist man's out of the White House now. And um, the Democrats in, and he's just as racist. But we're not going to think about that. We're not going to talk about that. We just know that the bad guy's away. And that's my fear with this. It's like, okay, cool, Chauvin is you know, probably going to prison for a long time now. So the bad guy went away, so the, the war is over, the fight is done, we won the battle, fuck it, I'm going back to sleep. Or as you kids say, they say it's going to brunch, right? Is that the thing? So I'm getting text messages from Blue and On or Blue Mega or Liberals or Karens, whatever you want to call it. Oh, one and the same. Cele there. They're celebrating the fact that Thoughts and prayers, basically, is what's coming across. And it's not that this shouldn't be celebrated, because, yes, it absolutely should. It is a win, a huge win. That aside, though, we're not done. This isn't d over. Like, just because the trial is over and one bad apple is going to prison doesn't mean we don't have the whole fucking racist system that he came from to fix or abolish or whatever, right? We're not done. Yeah, and that's that's what sucks about. And again, I, I keep going back to this. I know, like, celebrate the win. I'm not saying don't celebrate right. the win, but that doesn't mean that the fucking game is over. Because it's a game, and you got to realize that it's it's not time to sit on the bench. You could yeah. use that. You could actually use this momentum of a win and carry like it forward through the rest of the season going back to basketball terms sorry but like w this should be used as a catalyst to keep pushing even fucking harder now we got a little win time to fucking roll with it yeah use that use that and and use it as a motivation to keep going like so many yeah. times i know i feel burnt the fuck out on this stuff and i'm white girl from basically suburbia <laughs> definitely so, suburbia so like you know i can't imagine what it's like for anybody else i would like to say um happy 420 to all of you 
And uh, I did see online from uh, Left Coast Right Watch. If you guys don't follow them, you should. They cover a bunch of the Nazi shit that I cover. Um, but they said that it's kind of ironic that this guilty verdict came down on Hitler's birthday. And now there is a constant reminder of where this all stemmed from. Not that it started with him, but it's just ironic, you know? Um, you're talking about fascism in general? Yeah. Oh, okay. What did you think I was talking about? I wasn't sure where you are going. I heard Hitler and then, like... Well, it's Hitler's, Hitler's birthday, and a guy just killed, a, or got found guilty of killing a black man. Yeah. So now what happens? We, get out, we keep going out there, fighting. That's what should happen, but, like... The we, people that are already out there... speaking, what, what do you think is going to happen now in the next coming weeks? And months? Well, in my opinion, the people that are already out there aren't, aren't going anywhere. They realize what's up, because they never went to sleep when Biden was elected. So, the only people that are like, thoughts and prayers, everything's fine now, are the Karens that were never out there to begin with. So, I am so glad you said that the way that you said it, because as much as we were just talking about the people that are going to go out to brunch or lunch or whatever or go to sleep now, it should be noted and they should be celebrated, the people that, that are not giving up, that see this win as, like I said, a catalyst for a greater win in the end. Yeah. The ones that will keep going. We were talking while we were waiting for the verdict, and he said that he thought that SPD's riot uh, cops were getting pretty excited. What did you say? You said something gross and it was hilarious. You said they're probably... Oh, they're getting their boner pills ready. <laughs> I wanted to say it. Yeah. Well, yeah, they get off oh, on the Uh There was video, I'm not going to say who posted it, but there's a video of a cop from Portland Place Sparrow being confronted um, at one of these protests recently, and they were saying that he was high on coke. And he was acting all shifty and crazy, so, you know. The boner pills aren't too far up. Which, it, by the way, the military will pay for boner pills if you need them. They will, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you were born yes. with that boner, but not if you had one later. Yeah. We're getting That was the weirdest way to say that, by the way. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, it's both of us. Um, so anyway, basically, just because he was found guilty does not mean fight's over, we're done, next story. No, these fucking Nazis are still here, running around town, revving their engines because they need their boner pills. <laughs> Why have a boner pill when you have an F-350? <laughs> Oh, extended cab. Extended cab F three fifty with like six wheels total, and there's one person driving it. No, and only one person in and, the vehicle. And and remember this: extended fucking mirrors with no nothing behind them. And white feather thing in the back. <laughs> Not green, black. Oh. Anyway, we're we're. Making light and... You have to, trying, man. Exactly. Yeah. It's a dark fucking world, and you have to shed some light on it, and even if it's dark comedy, you still need to, like, find a, a reason to laugh sometimes. True. It gets hard sometimes, but you guilty. gotta find a reason. I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way. Like, we take this completely fucking seriously. Com that's why we do this. I mean, we don't really get paid for this at all. I mean, there's like an occasional tip that's thrown our way and man, I do appreciate those and thank you Matt S, by the way for the last donation um, but we don't get paid for this generally so yeah, we're here to do the right thing, it's just that like he said, we need to make light of it where we can and you know, even though we're not professional comedians <laughs> Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've been known to rock a stage or two, oh my but God. I'm just saying. Anyway. So, if I could say one last thing, just to reiterate, we need to take this win and run with it. We need to use it as fuel motivation, as fuel 
to keep this fire burning even hotter now. Wanna let it you burn, get one wanna, win? Wanna let it burn. Just fucking roll with it. Listen to some some sublime. The LA riots. Oh, okay. It's like where the fuck? I know it's 420, but April 26, 1992. No, the wanna let it burn part. That's what I thought of. I gotcha. Anyway. Well, we uh, don't know what our plans are for tonight. We will see what goes on and if there's anything to cover, like downtown. Um, so stay tuned and follow Backyard Politics on Odyssey, because fuck YouTube. Uh, they are suppressing the hell out of this channel so much that I don't even want to talk about it anymore. So go to Odyssey. It's free. It's awesome. You like all of your favorite lefty YouTubers are, are yeah, pie YouTubers. See, even there. Podcasters are on there. So go to Odyssey, follow Backyard Politics, like, share, subscribe, support us on Patreon and Venmo at Backyard Politics. Do you got anything else? No. All right. The planet's still on fucking fire. <laughs> Medicare be with you. <laughs>